Welcome. Monday of the 16th week of Ordinary Time, and Father Bill is our presider. The holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. We take a moment and we ask the Lord for continued forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now may God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Go favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the word says, what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you, or how have I wearied you? Answer me, for I brought you up out of the land of Egypt. From the place of slavery, I re released you. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before the God Most High? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? And told, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you. Only to do the right, and to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To, to the, the upright, upright, I will show, show the, saving the saving power, power of, of God. God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the, the upright, upright I will show, show the, saving the saving power, power of God. God. Not for the sacrifices I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, the I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, 
though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright, the upright I, I show, show the, the saving, saving power, power of, of God. God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as sacrifice glorifies me, and to him goes the right, that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. The upright, the upright I, will I will show the saving, the saving power, power of, of God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, an evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except a sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will arise with this generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the, of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Those Pharisees in today's gospel were looking for a sign from Jesus, a sign proving that he is the Messiah. And Jesus had already given them many, many signs. Jesus had cast out devils, these Pharisees said he was in league with Satan. Jesus cured the sick. Those Pharisees said he was breaking the Sabbath law. He had forgiven sins, and those Pharisees said he blasphemed. The miracles Jesus worked were with the sick, the possessed, the poor, and the sinners. And because those Pharisees didn't associate with these unclean, they just couldn't appreciate the message Jesus was preaching through his signs and miracles. Their eyes were blind. Their ears were deaf. Jesus was not and could not be the kind of Messiah they wanted. Jesus could only preach repentance and conversion and dying to sin as a means of enjoying new life in God. 
Jesus is still working signs even today. And those signs of the presence of Jesus can be recognized and believed only by people of faith. Let us pray. That the church be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust rooted in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of our community work to guard the, equal the quality of our environment, air, and water. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we will be ever mindful of the unemployed and the underemployed and insist them with needed services and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we guard the sanctity of the Eucharist, always seeing it as our summit and source. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Bradley Suda and Marion Cresson, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of Carolina Gab Galvin, the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and grant these good things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice your, at your hands for the good of all of our names and the good of all your church. Lord, who in the one perfect sacrifice 
brought to completion the offerings of the law, accept the prayer and this sacrifice from your faithful servants. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and good. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. And we do this through Christ. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death o Lord, Lord, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but but deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and and the the glory glory are yours, yours, now now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, You take Take away away the the sins of the world, world, have have mercy mercy on on us. Lamb of God, you you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord, I am not not worthy worthy that that you should should enter enter under under my roof, roof, but but only only say say the the word, and and my soul soul shall be be healed. healed. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God continue to bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Live the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.